Hello, everybody. We are back. Um, we've got a few very uh, strong, powerful messages from the Lord from some brothers and sisters in Christ. And, and uh, a couple of them are ones we're going to play videos, and the other ones are ones I'm going to read. There's one kind of a long one, but it's really powerful. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this brother. I'll tell you, this brother is <laughs> really strong brother in the Lord, and I love that he only reads exactly what God tells him. It's really awesome. So let's uh, make sure I got the volume up here. I don't want to have it too loud. Okay. My son, write the instructions to my holy ones. The persecution coming upon you requires my saints to be trained with the highest level of training under heaven. I myself am girded for war with you, and I am the supreme commander. What I say to you, I say to all, prepare your battle plans now. If you are fasting, then I require 100%. If you are interceding, then I require likewise. Your success in this war is in direct proportion to your preparation. As I was with Joshua in battle, so I will be with you, says the Lord. Hear now, O nation and people, I declare war on my enemies. Who can stand in battle against me? I am who I am, the supreme commander, says the Lord. Ah, oh, such powerful messages from this brother. So, so, why that hit me so hard, because basically the Lord is saying, whatever I have called you to right now, whatever assignment I have given you, whatever you believe that I have asked you to stand in now, give it 100%. There is no halfway with God, guys. Right now, it's here, it's here, it's here. Give it a hundred percent, whatever he's called you to. All right, no part way. Give it a hundred percent. I thought that was an awesome message. Okay, now I'm going to read this one next because then it's a long one. Okay, fire will awaken many. This is a uh, 444 prophecy news side, a uh, site, um, Crystal Beal. Much deception and many distractions fill the people and blanket the earth in this last hour. Lean not on your own understanding and always acknowledge me. I am leading you. I have gone before you. Never will I leave or forsake you. I am with you always. My heart is lamenting. America is so deceived. I speak plainly and not in parables. America, you have rejected me on your soil. I mourn for the way that I was rejected in America. Much has come to pass and is passing now. The hour of fulfillment has come. O oh, America, if you but knew the truth, you would mourn and wail. Just as you are... Um, just as you are, Jesus, forgive us, God. Um, I'm not sure how they wrote that. I think they, they might have typed it wrong. Just are, just are you, oh, I see, okay. <clears throat> just are you, Jesus, forgive us, God, would be the cry of this nation. It is not so. So many profess my name with their lips only. Their hearts are far from me. I was disgracefully received in America. America, you know not the major end, end time revelation of all things you hold. You are the cause of severe suffering for me. It is true, the whole earth has fallen away from me. Yes, yet America, I am sore grieved and vexed with most severity, severe, most severely. I have not blessed this nation, America, but cursed it. Violence fills America to overflowing. Murder and mayhem. Division. 
oh, where did I just leave off? Division, discord. So many of you are focused on political faces and you are deceived. My kingdom is not of this world. Come out of the world. Come out. Friendship with the world is enmity with me. Oh, generation, you cannot fathom the destruction that has come to pass and is through the door. America, hear me. You have rejected me. What do you not understand? How plainly can I say it to you? Blind, deaf hearts, hard as stone. The love of many wax cold. It is written, this is. Sin soaked and in deep darkness are you before America. Destruction is upon you. In thy midst, in thy midst, reap what you have sown. Destruction, death. I am not for you, America. I am against you. To all whom love me, Jesus Christ, I hear your prayers. I wear and bear your suffering and pain. I know ye are weary. I am on the throne. I am allowing all this to be so. I was rejected in America, and for that alone will I destroy this nation. I am faithful. I am true. I have prepared a place that where I am, ye may be also. Trust me. Trust me. I will reveal that you understood not. I have made all things new, a wedding banquet, a marriage supper, war, and a wedding feast. I am so grieved over America. I shall be vindicated in the, in the destruction of this abomination. To all who are longing for me, rejoice, I say to you, rejoice, for I have prepared a table for thee in thy presence of you in the presence of your enemies your cup runs over oil of gladness joy my faithful remnant i have heard your prayers your tears i have collected the desires of your hearts i give thee it is my pleasure and great joy to do so fear not my little flock for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. I shall show you my face to behold. I thirst. Look up, my faithful. Watch. Rewards. Your labor for me is not in vain. Enough. 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 Darkness thickens and deepens. It is who I am doing this. I, the Lord, everything has ha everything is changed. It is changing. It all changes. Move forward. Look ahead. Look up. Blow the trumpet. Visitation. The hour is now. Many deceived. Fire will awaken many. Many blind, captive, sieged, and led to the slaughter. All who have suffered for me rejoice. It is no more. Silence. Behold, I am risen. Massive shakings, fallen rocks, I am come. Fear not, little flock, redeemed Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> that is one jam-packed message. Fire will awaken, awaken many. Heavy duty. And this is another one. I have to go up a little bit. Uh, choose life, careening towards chaos, part second, part seven. This is so heavy. Handmade of the Most High. August fourteenth is this one. Both of these messages are from this morning. Whew. Received Monday the tenth. For four days, I have just been cloaked with an overwhelming, ominous presence of fear. 
We have been experiencing, experiencing intense weather where I live. Usually I enjoy a loud afternoon storm, so I ask the father, why wasn't I snuggling down for a good nap instead? After all, I have nothing to fear when I trust in him. He said, this is a wee test of the panic even the faithful will have when more of my judgments unfold. I asked him, you told me that, uh, that judgments have already begun. He responded, yes, they have. However, there are many who have been too busy at work to see these things that have begun. A total secret from the public. While the people are in the dark, they are much more easily manipulated by the spoken directives, go here, don't go there. They want everyone present and accounted for. It will be so much easier to control them for when things advance further and also when they have to, when they have to account for the dead. I'll be honest, that struck me right to the gut as I recall a number of words I've already received, especially about the coming destruction of the United States, to know that even more than that I have been given to share will soon come to pass. The Father's words. The beasts of the earth know that these things are preeminent. They are about to begin. They are running away from the regions where soon the earthquakes will unleash where the volcanoes, old and new, unknown to most, are about to erupt. People of governments worldwide are monitoring their changes and heat, the stirring magma beneath the surface as it reaches greater temperatures and will incinerate those living above. A little pause in that reading. Remember, the lava under, love, under Yellowstone is only 600 feet. That's nothing. Okay, only 600 feet below the surface. Um, those will die quickly. They will be the lucky ones. Others who watch the tides, the sinking lands near logger, large bodies of water, are having meetings, sometimes daily, as they watch and wait. They know that the poles are shifting, the ebbs and flows that Earth is marching in new directions as the magnetism settles in, at new, settles in at new points. Impacted by the moons and planets in your atmosphere and beyond, atmosphere and beyond, uh, redirecting the activities of the Earth. I am in control, but no one acknowledges me. Instead of preparing the people to live under the new seasons of change, they are preparing them for death. They do not love, they do not love you, nor have, you, have they ever sought to tell you the truth. And when some good party has made such an effort, they withstood them even to the point of death, since, since that was the easiest solution in that moment. You who walk in arrogance and pride, thinking your knowledge is superior because of your training and your research, your chat room conversations, are still ignorant of the deepest depths of the agendas that are working. Don't allow what you know to work against you. Seek me, for I do know the agendas that are afoot. I know all of them. I know how these connect to other plans. Your enemies believe they know and control how it will all roll. They don't know even what I know. I let them be deceived in their pride. Their pride has always caught them by surprise. Not because I lied to them, but because they lied to themselves. Lying and speaking of things that they projected to be truth, but their pride, their arrogance perverted even their own minds. Talk about living by the sword and dying by the sword. The deceivers are deceived. It has always been so. My children, listen. Listen to my words. Be directed by my words. The terrors are coming. Continued judgments and wrath. They are seeable. Do you not see them? I have given my own keen vision unto you to see. 
The terrors are here, and those who continue to mock and rant and roar in their complaining that those stating my facts, my words, my direction on how to proceed, you are Ill illegitimate children. So he's saying, you better start listening to, <laughs> to my kids who I'm telling. You will not have my comfort unless you repent. Stop gnashing your teeth and using your tongue to rebuke and accuse those precious ones who are warning and shouting that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. For it is about to destroy all those who do wickedly along with some of the just. You who continue to praise men's actions, those who perform selfish wanton acts in a most grotesque manner, who are filled with deceitfulness, heaping flesh to their loins without consent and pickpockets with justice meted out, you are deceived. While they make money off the backs of the poor and out of, the fav out of favor persons because they, the meek, are too busy earning money for food, too sick or too honest to be able to gain victory in the courts, but soon they will have kingdom justice. My justice will reign. I will reclaim those who are mine and they will have riches will, that will never falter, decay, decay or diminish. They will be rewarded who follow me. They will have my mighty hand over them, sheltering them with the safety only I can provide them. You will continue to shake your fist at me, rebuking me as though you've been cheated. Oh, I can see uh, some second rounders being like that. Uh, know this, I cheat no man. I reign on the good and the bad alike. I speak blessings to those who seek my face, not shout at it. I am not moved by your hate. Do you think you can bully God like you do a new puppy? Do you think that you can withhold your tithes as punishment when I created money and its concept? I mean, wow. What arrogance you show me. As I spoke in my word, I am the potter. The clay does not give direction to the potter on how it should be shaped. Repent to me. You have no idea the consequences that lie before you. You may have expectations regarding certain events that will take place, but do you know the day that you will die? To those who think you can control your death, there are consequences to behaviors. Yes, you can use a weapon of choice to result in death be it alcohol, pills, a knife, a gun, or a rope. There will be consequences, though. They may not be what you expect. You will expect resolution. You will expect peace. You may even expect joyous reunion or a new existence in a new incarnation. What I promise you is that these will not be. You may go into a coma instead, or you may be re reunited in hell. There's no promise to you of any peace apart from me. Adam and Eve brought about death. I did not choose it for them. If you choose to destroy what I created, then there are consequences. You will not like them. It is within the heart of man to desire survival. I put that there. If you, in your perverse thinking, choose to wrest that from me, then you will do so out of my divine will and purpose, outside of my divine will and purpose. Um, if you, I want to make sure I'm reading this right. If you, in your perverse thinking, chose to rest, from what I understand that means, if you, in your perverse thinking, choose to not listen to me, you'll be doing so outside of my divine will and purpose. It will be in your own arrogant deception Rebellion has always had consequences. Beyond that, I promise I will never leave you nor forsake you. But when you choose to forsake me, then you bear consequences and you surrender to the works of evil. Repent. Trust me. Toss away your willing, willfulness for humility. Grab hold to all my promises of peace and safety. God's pride. Yeah, let's let's make sure you understand that's God's peace and safety, not Satan's. Okay. 
um, release, depart, yea, even run from anyone who teaches you that they have a way to bring forth that peace and safety on earth. Run from those who have peace plans. Run from those who are proven liars. Don't make excuses for these liars. They are snakes. And they are now entering into their next phase of evil. They have always been so. Others have revealed it to you again and again. You instead call the truth speakers liars and those, tr those liars truth tellers. So they're saying the truth, the people who tell the truth are liars and the people who, tell, who lie tell the truth. They're doing it backwards, as always. He says, I will repay. I do not tolerate this backbiting. It is participating in the liar sins and you have no idea the abomination that they do before my eyes. They are wicked men, purveyors of all the sins I have listed in my word. They raise up their children to walk in evil as well. Dwell in tents far from, the ins far from them instead of worshiping at their er very evil feet. They are evil men. They laugh and mock you behind your backs. They're laughing and mocking behind your backs, guys. While you make simper, simpering apologies for their behavior, or worse, you dismiss circumstances as false news, claiming that they have been misunderstood or quoted out of context or simply blowing off steam. This is the whole Trump crowd. You guys all have picked this up, I hope. Tell me, when did my son perpetrate such musings? When did he joke about women's body parts? When did he cast dispersions on those who did not deserve such cruelty? Come to me with your questions, not to the talking heads who are paid well for their deceptions. Using words of glory or shame, depending on how they've been directed by those who pay them, who make them experts instead of simply attractive people reading teleprompters. They that know my truth see you as fools. For in their eyes, those who know the truth, for they are guided by my Holy Spirit and by none other. I tell you soon, many, 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 many millions will die. Do you know me? Do you serve me? Do you seek me in good times and in bad? Or are you just my fair weather friend? Or more likely the only friend left when the chips are down? Why is it that the fickle ones only come back when the world has no answers? Do you not know that this opportunity may not be available to you as the world collapses in on itself? Yes, the economy is collapsing in the United States and in many places around the world. It will not recover. I will allow it. A new economy of worldwide proportions will arise and that one world currency will be in its place. Yes, the beginning shots have been volleyed that will soon be revealed to be the final war. The diseases that will ra ravage are on their way as well. The world will be suddenly the world will suddenly experience a true pandemic where people will just fall over and die in their yards, in offices, in their cars and in the stores. Some will go to sleep and never wake up. This thing they are calling a pandemic is merely junior varsity tryouts. You have not been at the playoffs yet, but these are coming, ladies and gentlemen. There is a day coming when all will be clear, even to those who have lived deliciously soothing their fleshly reaping immortality. Yes, they will see that times, that at times, um, that the times they always thought would continue without end has now ended abruptly. Unless, of course, they join the New World System, it'll be easy. It will be available to all. Watch out. Those you trust have already betrayed you. Meanwhile, those who have understood the signs of the Earth's groanings and have prepared for the times ahead, I'm pleased. However, it is tragic that some who know the meanings of these changes and what they will bring to pass, some of these have not yet turned to me. Still, even now, they are wise in their own eyes. 
while preparing for the needs of their body and those they are responsible for, they have failed to prepare their hearts to answer in truth and humility. They worship their solutions and not the one who provides any solution necessary. I would rather that all would duly prepare your hearts above all else for the perilous times ahead. Was I not able to produce water from a rock in the desert? Did I not feed many thousands of men while they traveled to the land I had promised? Am I a God that is not moved by an infant crying in er, Am I a God that is not moved by an infant crying in distress or a little one that wanted to sit on my son's lap? Yes, I did have to turn back on my son, but only for a brief second in history to fulfill his entire mis ministry. I did it for you. I am pained when even a sparrow falls from the sky. Children, heed these warnings. How will you cope with me speaking truth and direction into your life? How can you expect to hear me then when you cannot hear me now? Or then, uh, let me read this again. How can you expect me to hear then when you can't even hear me now? I'm not trying to scare you. If you are not scared by the major signs I've already shown, the rivers and lakes and many kingdoms turning blood red, the stars and the moons turning, moons turning blood red, the vast animal kingdoms making major exodus from homelands they've occupied for many millenniums, the major droves of birds dropping from your sky, the loss of entire species of butterflies, frogs, and other insects forever from your lands, the animal and plant die-offs in vast parts of the ocean, the plagues of locusts that eat your harvest, the waters that flood your plain of plains of grain, snow in your desert lands and hot summer in the coldest regions, rain where it never rained before. Do not be deceived by those evil entities. Nay, some are not even human that wish to kill you, saying that your CO2 is killing the planet. Their homes, cars, boats, planes, and toys emit more CO2 than any than a small town does. Why have you willingly given them control over your future for your very life? Do you not understand that their logic deems you unnecessary and stealing resources they desire? They call you useless eaters. Their audacity in statements to the public that they have every right to determine the very breath of millions, nay, billions, that are on this planet. I made every life here, not them. I know what is, a tr what is truly sustainable. You demand solutions. Then when the solutions have been offered, you choose to make yourself or others a living sacrifice for the benefit of a few. Here referenced the 500 million stated on the Georgia Guidestones. Will you continue? I'm asking. Choose today who you will serve. Either it will be me or it will be man. If you serve man, you'll get the wisdom of man who's guided by the enemy of your soul. Who wishes to devour you as soon as possible. Who would prevent you from embracing eternity with me. To endure his punishment that you could have refused. Which will win, life or death, blessing or cursing? Choose life, choose me. And, and she says, vision, while I was taking a break from completing this document, I saw a flash vision. It appeared before me, a very small community, but, stop, but bus stop on a dirt road. This was an area that looked somewhat arid, and I saw mountains in the background. The people were entering the bus slowly. They carried little. They were calm and orderly. They had brown skin and were beautifully arrayed in color, colorful clothing, and it could be any little hamlet in Central or South America. Each carried an oblong sheet of white paper, which they handed to the bus driver, who I could hardly see, but he was dark with long black hair. I believe he was Jesus, the Messiah. 
Interpretation. The Lord said, it is nearly time for my son to collect your boarding passes. Praise God. Many saints will soon be joining with me, or joining me. He reminded me of another vision I had, he had given me in May 2019 of being in an airport and seeing my boarding pass, which gave me destination, a destination to heaven. I beg you to join me. There are always more seats on the bus. Notice he didn't say all saints. So we know that when those events of tsunamis, volcanoes, earthquakes, earth regurgitation, and nukes begin to destroy most life, some will remain at least for a season of time. Pray that you be counted worthy to escape all things. Pray that you be counted worthy. That means there are qualifications, guys. Obedience. Focusing on Jesus. Getting out of the world. Getting the heart healing and deliverance. Allowing him to crucify your flesh to... to um, uh, circumcise your hearts, creating you a clean heart. You have to be at that moment. You've got to expect him. He's coming. You've got to know he's coming now. There's a lot more to this. I, I will put this link in the description box, but I've read the, the main message, which is so powerful. Choose life careening towards chaos. Huge. And um, this brother, where are we now, 31? Yeah, just another 12 minutes. He had some words that he had gotten, I believe, from the Lord. I have not listened to this whole thing, so we're just gonna kinda listen to this together. Good morning, hope you are, hope you're well, um, bride, bride of Christ. Whew, the Lord is, the Lord is good and um, His grace is here this morning, and His words are here, and His truth is here. The greatest, the greatest moment of, the greatest moments of human history are about to happen. Mm. The trumps, the trumps of God are going to blow. Wow. The bride with oil is to be called home. Their joy will be complete. Some of the biggest, most tragic things are about to come upon this earth. And men aren't ready for it. Israel's being courted right now by her seducer. She's laying her hands and her head in the lap of the, of the false messiah. The pieces are in place. The moment has arrived. We are going to see our God face to face. And joy is coming for all of us who've made our lives and our lives ready. The days of trouble, the days of trial, the days of destruction, the days of preparation are about, are about to come upon this earth. No one, no one has conceived, no one has conceived in their hearts the severity of this time. It's, he's calling. It is, it's about to change. Change happens instantly at that trump. Change happens instantly.
We are, uh... I don't know what more to say right now. Just waiting on him. You who prepared, stand, for your redemption draws nigh. He comes, and you will exchange this garment for his holy one, incorruptible, forever. The rest, they'll stand and wonder what happened and cry and why and, and, and dismay will happen for many. As they look at their, they'll look at their hands and thought their hands were clean, but their hearts didn't know him. They'll mourn. The five who are left behind, who, who were not ready, will mourn. For the great days of God's wrath will begin. Keep your lamps shining. Be prepared for our Redeemer is coming. The Lord showed me Ezekiel 7 this morning which is the chapter of the end and the tragedies and the judgments that God is going to fall upon. God is going to bring upon the wicked. He showed me Psalms 5. Psalms 5 is a place of refuge. Psalms 5 will be the place that the left behind will find comfort in. The greatest revival will happen. But it isn't going to be like people thought. The five bride left behind, they will come back. They will repent. And he will have unity. And all the things that they thought were important, they will throw away. And they will love him. And they will need his word more than ever. <sighs> he is going to change their lives. Our Father is merciful. He is going to restore them. But it isn't what men thought. The last revival will be because of the clarity of the moment. strife in his body then. There won't be barriers and walls.
pray. Pride, you, me, pray. Pray. At the, the ledgers of God are almost completely sealed. Ready, not ready. Pray. We're about soon to be free. Soon. Soon. I don't know the time I don't. But it is about, about to happen. Keep standing. It's just from my heart right now. Keep standing. Look up. I love you guys. I can't wait to see you all in heaven. <laughs> yeah, I'm you gonna too, go to brother. Work. Yeah, I'm gonna go sell a car or encourage someone. Just however it happens today, I'll be diligent today and tomorrow. And however long. But it's coming. It, he, it, the end, our Savior, our God, the wrath, the revival, post rapture. The persecution, the destruction, the fleeing to the mountains. the restoration. It's about to change. It's about to change. It is about to change. <sighs> I just praise you, Lord. I just praise you, Lord. I love you guys. I love you. Be ready. Be joyful, those who are clean, who you know your hearts are ready. Stay free. Oh, it's gonna be a day. I love you, I love you, I love you guys. I just, I'm not gonna apologize, this is the way it came out, and this is the way it is. God is our God, and he is our Father. And he, he sends you strength every day. So I pray strength over you. I pray fortitude in you. He, hope of glory, is in you. The jaws of your adversary, the jaws of your adversary are broken. Their teeth are shattered. The Bible says their spears pierce their heads. The pits they dig, they fall into. God's wrath is upon them, the spirit realm. We walk free. <sighs> so be blessed, be strong, be courageous. Worship your Father. He's good and He is faithful. And there is not one word, not one jot, not one tittle, will not, will not come to pass. And on that note, I say repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. <laughs>